Alright, ladies and gentlemen, toss a coin to your witcher, we fucking back. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. So welcome back to Rust everybody, we are hitting it solo, survival, let's get it old school style. No fancy fucking narration, we're doing it. First things first, as always, let's get some resources, some stuff, might hit up a couple of roads. We're gonna have to do a lot of farming today. I wanna get a nice base secure so that we don't get raided and stuff. And then gather a load of blueprints and stuff. Now I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. This server did wipe a few days ago, but the pop looks healthy. It looks good. There's a few shops that we might be able to get some lubrication from, so it's not gonna be too bad. It is vanilla too. As always, if you do go on to enjoy the video once you've sat here and watched it, do leave a like, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Sit back, relax. And listen to the uh, the raspy sounds of my voice. Right, so I'm gonna go and get my farm on right now. But while I do that, let's say a massive thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video once again and supporting me and the channel. You guys know Raid by now. It's a mega hit that has had millions of downloads since its release last year, with some insane reviews and a great ranking on the Play Store. This RPG combines dark fantasy and realism into an epic adventure. And you know the best part? It's mother trucking free. Prepare your army, customize your champions, and conquer battles at every single turn to take your team to victory. Just like I'm doing right here with my own crew. My favorite part of this game is the hundreds of different champions and thousands of customizations that you can explore. I'm absolutely loving War Priest right now, as she is so damn badass. So if that wasn't enough, did you know you can play Raid both on mobile and on your desktop now? This game is cross-device, so you can play with the same user and switch between devices whenever and however you want. The graphics in the PC version are insane, and again, do not fret guys, it is free. So what are you waiting for? Use my link at the top of the description right now, and if you're a new player, you'll receive 100,000 free silver and a free champion, Hexweaver, who looks so insane. Just look at that badass champion you're going to be getting completely for free just for using the link down below. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. But hurry, these rewards are only relevant for 30 days, so go, go, go right now and check it out. Linked right at the top of the description. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to it and get back to the video. So first things first, I'm going to try and get enough cloth for a bow before we really do anything. It's been a while since I played Rust. I've been under the weather this week, so it's going to take some getting back into it. Is that a bear over there? Ooh, that's going to be juicy. So yeah, bear with my PvP, okay? I'm still called Bloody Arthur Christmas, I really need to change that. Oh, of course he's got a rad suit on. Oh, he's got a friend. Oh, you... I didn't like that area anyway. Okay, most annoying thing there, I got my food up to a good level. Meh. I'm hot on the trail of someone leaving shit behind here. I don't know if I want to try and lay some roots down around here. There aren't like an abundance of nodes, but nothing too bad. Pretty standard at crappy area, really. Right, I'm gonna slap a bag down. Oh, someone had the same idea. We'll do a little bit of reconnaissance before we kick on and maybe lay some roots, but... I'm not seeing any animals and I'm seeing a lot of bases on this island. You know, I don't think this is where I want to build. I think I'm going to go and try and build down there near train yard and just use this island as farm. I want to make sure that we don't get raided tonight. I want to make sure the base is secure and safe. So good to know we've got a space, a safe space to grab some resources. Not that it is, we know it's safe, but we've got a space. There's a few semi-sized bases in this area, but I'm going to lay some in down, just because we're going to need a little base of operations to grab some of the stuff off the roads. I joke. Well, it ain't much, uh, but it's home. And it'll do for the night. Jesus, dude, how long have you been out there, man? Whoa, there's a little, little fella. Just give me the old, the old door count, the old 23 skidoo, with a double barrel. There it is, look. Fuck it.
Dual camp me, little scrub. Do I take the double barrel? I mean, I'm not going to learn it, am I? I might as well keep it on me and see if I can potentially turn it into a little bit more loot. Yeah, got to be done, hasn't it? Oh, he's dead again. I was thinking of doing some resource farming, but... Oh, has he got fire arrows? Ow. What? Oh, you saw that, right? You saw that too. I could not see him at all, but he must have been able to see me. That's crazy. That's a, that's a fucked up mechanic, Rust. Hey, guess who forgot to put a sleeping bag in his base? It ain't quite my day today. I don't even want the base that I built, you know? It's got nothing in it and I just don't care about it. That's what sucks right now. Oh, someone has killed this poor man. Damn. Too late. There's a lad smashing barrels over there, but I can't I can't find any stone. I've got not that I've got any wood, but you know what I mean. Wow. And this is exactly how I'm going to get back onto the straight and narrow right now. A good road, a little bit of barrel farming in the desert. The desert has never done me wrong so far. He says on no doubt the day of the desert does him wrong. Oh, I think I just jumped over that. I really don't want to die here. Fucking Christ! Oh yes, baby. We're bouncing a little bit here. Do you have cloth on him for a sleeping bag? He did, dope. I did have an idea in mind of where I wanted to build, so... It's probably where I'm gonna head. Though it looks like this road might provide the juice. Hello, dead body. Ooh, a little bit of stoof. This is fine. We have too much stuff right now. I actually don't hate the area either right now. Okay, starter base. Going down. I was actually just on a little run to try and find some stone, but I picked up a sword and a couple of random blueprints, so I'm going to do a quick recycle. Oh, that guy's going to get there first. But I'm going to learn the sword while I'm here, so then we can do sword raids and stuff it went as and when we're ready. So I guess we wait. So glad we managed to turn this round so far, though, by the way, because I didn't want it. I was so worried it was just going to be a montage of deaths, but we've got a long way ahead. We've got it's a long road ahead, but at the same time, so glad that we got that kill. I need stone, though, and there's just none anywhere. Right, we'll grab this, and then we can go on that roam looking for some bloody thingies. Nice. Obviously the last video that I uploaded um, was a different like voice over narration type style. And from reading your comments, you guys didn't really like the change. You guys seem to prefer this sort of narration, the live commentary sort of style. So thank you for letting me know that, for one. And two, if you're enjoying this video, please do let me know. Always feels like back to my roots, you know, like this is what made us and it's always nice to do this. I mean, nice to try other things sometimes too, innovation, but... And while I got you while we're chatting, I haven't asked it for a while. Drop in the comments down below where you're from, because it's very, very interesting to find out where people are watching my videos from these days, because the YouTube analytics are always very, very wrong. Okay, so just here, I just need to interject while I'm editing. So I was just coming back from farming some trees and stuff, um, and a man arrived on a horse and tried to kill me, and he is so geared, so I swivel on the turn 
double headshot him once while he's on the horse, once when he gets off through the lip of his coffee can, and I go down as he gets a couple of final shots with his semi on me. But then here we are, we pick up from there. Oh, dude, I just really need this fucking metal ore. I don't suppose you could just let me... That's my base right there. No, I just double headshot this guy. Double fucking headshot because he had a coffee can. Oh, ripperonis, man. Am I going to get up? I just needed that metal ore. That's all I cared about. He was running off on his horse, came over in the water, double headshot him because I wasn't recording. I was just running back to my base. I knew I shouldn't have farmed some wood. He had two HP. Two HP. And he didn't die. Oh, I got up. He did die. <laughs> zoot, zoot, zoot. I told him where my base. He knew what. Oh my god. Okay. So. Thoughts and opinions. Thoughts and opinions. I wasn't recording the most important moment of my wipe day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. Double headshot him. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of shaking a little bit right now. I'm going to put that in there. I was going to go off right now, but now I'm concerned he might raid me. Okay, this is, this is intriguing. This is fine. Everybody just calm down. Okay, that is stunning. What a way... To turn around a wipe day right now, okay. I do still need wood though, because that's a problem. And then obviously we've got the temptation whereby do we take that semi-rifle? Do we try and turn it into more? With only 31 bullets, that's only like one, maybe two fights. So that's, that's a question, I think. But I think right now I'm going to take my break while I've got a moment. Rebuild in a bit and we'll hopefully not be raided in a few minutes. But GG, boys. Right, it is currently four in the morning, so it's probably my bedtime, so... I'm gonna get a last couple of bits on this starter base, and we can feel safe in the knowledge that I don't... Well, I hope that we aren't gonna get raided overnight. Now, I'm gonna whack a normal door on there. Am I? No, I'm not. Right then, friends, that is your boy for the day. Sorry, it's kind of... Back into the old style and all that jazz, but I mean that a that's what you guys wanted, but mainly I, I just wanted to get a base down, feel safe in that knowledge, and then next episode we can kick on. I want to make a main base, big base, and go PvP in again and all that good stuff. But we've got a pretty nice area, not loads and loads of loot, but now I've got our starter down, we're gonna be fucking aces. Keep this furnace going, go farm some wood before I log off, and we're gonna be fine. So they guys, thank you so freaking much for watching. Hope you guys are interested in the rest of the series. If you are, do not forget to leave a like on this video and make sure you've got those notifications like on. I don't know how the fucking hell it works anymore, but you got to make sure that you've got the notifications on, otherwise you just do not get them. So, thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. I've been Tills. Check out the rest of the stuff on the channel, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Have a great week. Peace out.